In this video, we are going to talk about cloud. So let's start. Welcome to another video. If you're new to white programming and want to learn some trending technology, remember to subscribe. So what is cloud? It is a hype, a buzzword or a metaphor. Before understanding the components of cloud and how they are structured, let's understand the definition of cloud. Now, this is a world map. I want to install some of the servers. So let's start installing with a uh, US first, then uh, Europe, then uh, India. Now, each of these servers are located uh, different in geographical locations. So if I hooked them together and operate as a single ecosystem, this would constitute a cloud. So a cloud is uh, not a physical entity, but uh, a vast network of servers grouped together and operating as a one ecosystem. So instead of accessing your files or anything else, from your local computer or locally, you are accessing it through any device uh, that is capable of using internet. So you can store the data, manage the data, stream videos uh, over the internet. Now let's understand the essential characteristic of cloud. First is on-demand self-service. This means as a consumer, without human interaction with the service provider, I can access my servers, change the network storage systems or anything automatically. Next is broad network access. This means I can access through various platforms like mobile phones, laptops, workstations, tablets. Next, resource pooling. When I say resource pooling, it means as a cloud service provider, my resources would be served to multiple consumers, maybe it to be a multi-tenant model with a different physical and uh, virtual resources. And these resources could be dynamically assigned without the human interactions and could be reassigned also. So uh, as a user, I would not have the idea of exact location where my uh, data are kept, but I would know in which country, which data center and state it is there. Next is elasticity. So by the term elasticity means uh, when the traffic volume either goes high or low, we are able to change accordingly. So a scaling up uh, could be automatically and should be outward and inward uh, with respect to the traffic volume. And the last is measured service. So the resources, uh, either it could be uh, servers or data, it could be monitored, controlled and reported in a transparent manner, both to provider and consumer of the service. Now let's talk about service models and deployment models of cloud. Cloud is broadly divided into two categories. First is service models and another is deployment models. On the service model side, we have infrastructure as a service that is called AS, then platform as a service that is called PaaS, and then software as a service that is called SaaS. The common examples of infrastructure as a service is AWS EC2, Platform as a service is a private cloud foundry and software as a service is Dropbox, your Google Apps. On the deployment model side, uh, it is broadly divided into four categories that is public, private and hybrid and community. We will learn about these service models and deployment models in the next videos.